Hey folks, it's Brian. It's time for another Jeep video. I think this one's Jeep 45. Uh, it's the 45th video about this Jeep project. This is my TJ Salvage Rescue rebuild slash build. I don't know. What do you want to call it? Anyway, so I'm still working on the wiring harness. I've got some parts that have been coming in. I'm getting really close to working on the effing engine. Uh, try not to cuss in the first 30 seconds of the video. Um, so I'm just going to be working on the uh, wiring harness. Okay, the first 30 seconds are done. The fucking wiring harness is going to get worked on today. See, I didn't cuss in the first 30 seconds of the video. Anyway, so, it, it, you know, what we've got going on is that this, this is just fried. Um, this piece isn't too bad, but a lot of this wire split loom is just absolutely trashed. And in some cases, you can see here we've got exposed conductors. This is bad news. You do not want to have exposed conductors like this. Uh, that's where shorts happen and fires start. So I'm going to fix this crap. Um, I've been using this uh, TISA 51036 tape. Uh, I'll post a link in uh, the comments. And um, what I'm going to do is I, I'm, I'm going to go back over. I used some 3M tape earlier, and I'm just going to go back and cover this. Um, and it winds up looking like this when I'm done. Um, I'm comfortable with, with the way this looks. It seems like it's a great tape. Um, and, uh, you know, that's just kind of where we're at. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrap this. And I'm going to put the video on time lapse because I don't think this is that interesting. Um, and over here, I've done this already. So uh, I need to... I'm, I'm going to take this loose and I'm going to rewrap these. I, we'll see how far I get. I don't have a ton of time to work on this today. And that's that's the problem I have during the week. Um, I'm using quarter inch. Uh, and this is a nylon braided material. Three eighths inch, three quarter inch. And I've got some one inch over here. And I've ordered more three eighths and quarter because this is a really popular size. I don't, I don't think that's going to be enough to do the rest of this. Um, and... Uh, um, you know, the, the, basically the heat from the engine is fried this. So like the split loom is gone off this. So I'll replace that. And, and then I'm going to get in here and do this piece. Um, the other thing I bought are these, um, Panduit push mounts and I'll, I'll switch out a video or I'll switch out time-lapse when I get to using these. I've got several different sizes and these are going to allow me to replace, um, the zip tie mount so it's going to replace this this is a combined zip tie and push mount so that's a push mount anchor that i can then run a zip tie through so it it solves that problem and makes it serviceable for me i ordered about a 10 of each size just figuring that would kind of get me to where i needed to go and um you know so we'll we'll see where that takes us um and uh, i appreciate you watching let me know what you think in the comments and remember to subscribe, click the little bell so you find out when I do new videos because that'll send you alerts. Um, I organize my videos by playlist, so look at the Jeep playlist if you want to see all the videos related to this Jeep. Um, and thanks for watching.
Okay, so um, I think this is probably the right size anchor, so we're gonna see if these work. I uh, ordered these from Mauser. Uh, if you're not familiar with Mauser, they're a electronic parts supplier. I, I couldn't find these anywhere else. Um, in fact, I probably should sell them myself, but everybody can order from Mauser, I think. Yeah, so those are the right size. So these are the 6.3s. Alright, and what that does is that anchors in, and then you can come back with a standard zip tie, which I'm going to pull it out of the way here. And the idea is that once you have an anchor installed, you can slide a regular zip tie through here, and now you have a serviceable connection that is easy to change out. Um, if I have to take this zip tie off, it's very easy to do, and then that secures the wire. It's a nice, fresh uh, piece of plastic. Um, you know, under the engine's a, a harsh place to live for a piece of plastic. So um, my goal is to upgrade a lot of these anchors. So that's that's in there good. I, I, I feel good about that. That was a suggestion somebody made online and I read about. Um, so I've, I've implemented it. Man, this is a hot fucking mess in here. Anyway, um, that's probably all have time to mess with today uh, so that was uh, part number uh, two, 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 PUM 071 M30 and it's a 6.3 millimeter cable tie mount uh, push mount style from Panduit so again I'll, I'll put these part numbers in the description because um, I think these are going to be very useful for anyone else that's restoring a, a Jeep or building a, a Jeep um, and uh, you know, if you have a project Jeep and you have the engine out, I really think you should go through the wiring harness like I'm doing. And um, I just think that could save you a lot of hassle in the long run. Thanks.